All right, what's up everybody? About to show y'all a very, very helpful tip here for foam rolling your hamstrings out. I'll pop this clip up really quick of me foam rolling my calves. Now you see there how I basically have to lift myself up off the ground, do like a freaking floor press, like, a, uh, like the Olympic people do with the rings, you know, they hold themselves up like that. But like pushing myself up off the floor. So really taxing on my triceps and chest, right? Well, that's just extra, basically working hard when I found this new way. You know, if that was my goal, you know, I'm getting stronger with my chest and triceps doing my chest, trust, or you know, doing all my chest and pushing and stuff like that, right? So I don't care about necessarily being able to push myself off the floor like that and building that strength, even though that, you know, will carry over. And that's, you know, good. It's a different form of exercise because it's calisthenics and all. But again, it all comes down to working smart. So why have to put in that extra effort there and actually get less of a better, like basically get less out of it than the way I'm about to show you how to, the best way to foam roll your hamstrings way easier, infinitely easier, and you hit your hamstrings so much harder, AKA you're getting up in there a lot better, AKA you're working those knots out a whole lot better. But here's the clip I'm about to show you, and it starts with this right here. <laughs> 